Yo, 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 this is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. Is this setting really bright? This is really bright. Well, anyway, today we're talking about the negatives or the dark side of the Gemini sun sign female. All right, so when it comes to Gemini, first of all, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, okay? <clears throat> Mercury is probably one of the most um, unpredictable planets in our solar system. I believe it can go retrograde at any point, meaning it can go backwards at any point in time, like just unexpectedly. Um, unpredictable, okay? And uh, it does have the tendency to go back and forth, right? So... This is why they, um, I guess, according to Greek mythology, Mercury was like the messenger between the planets or the gods or whatever. Um, but essentially, it really is uh, the sign most associated with communication and uh, talking, you know, words, verbal flexibility or whatever i don't know <clears throat> i actually have mercury and gemini but anyway so when it comes to gemini sun sign females um i'm kind of just going to be going off personal experience um i really have not had the best experience with gemini females um so i'll just start off first my first story um well I'll kind of go back in time. So I was a part of this team. Um, it was this kind of like collective. I, I won't get into the details, but she joined the team. And I noticed that she was also into astrology and um, into spiritism and, and different types of things. Now, I don't believe astrology is... Um, a form of divination but i know she also was interested in astrology um anyway so she was very good at planting negative seeds okay she was very good at um acting dumb okay uh gemini females are very good chameleons okay they're very good at playing a part they're actors okay is basically what i'm trying to say they're actors um and they a lot of the time they know a lot about themselves okay it's not like gemini females do this unconsciously okay gemini females usually know that they like to talk about other people okay um i'm i'm just gonna put it out there any Gemini sun sign female, you will notice that she is somewhat of a gossiper, okay? Now, unless she has really put in the work to not be this way, you'll notice that Gemini is, um, she likes to talk about people. And, you know, it's funny because sometimes um, the Gemini energy will be just naturally expressing their ideas, but they come off very negatively you know but the thing is the reason why they come off negatively is because there are negative emotions involved <laughs> so it's kind of like sometimes um you can't really tell if like where they're really coming from because um or at least you just have to really trust your gut with these women because a lot of the time like the Gemini energy is so fast that a lot of the time it can't even tell which way it's going, okay? It is somewhat subject to the to Mercury, you know? Now, what goes on with Mercury and how it affects the Gemini female exactly, I'm not 100% sure, but I will say... Um... I'm probably going to make this video 21 and up because of what I'm about to talk about, okay? So, I had this, uh, I was on this team, right? And, um, you know, it was somebody's birthday party. We were, like, smoking, um, like, cigars and stuff, you know what I'm saying? 
and um and she didn't bring any supplies with her she didn't have any supplies if you know what i mean and she was kind of just like using hours you know what i'm saying or smoking hours and um and uh, i noticed that she was very much more concerned with her um what she got out of the situation like even though it was somebody's birthday party she was not worried about waiting for this person to either come out of the bathroom or whatever and to get back to the party she just wanted to get back to the party okay first red flag right then later on in the party um she was um she had taken somebody else's cigar and brought it to where we were standing and then she tried to take mine and um, tell me to go give that other one to the person who it originally belonged to. Now, if you're following along with what I'm saying, if it, if it makes sense to you, then um, just know that the Gemini female is a very good schemer and she is very good at maneuvering a situation, okay? She knows how to... Uh, she's an opportunist, is basically what I'm trying to say. She knows how to look at a situation, think about what she wants out of the situation, and knows how to direct people, manipulate people into moving the direction she wants it, wants them to go in, okay? So when she told me to take the other person's cigar back to them while she was holding onto my cigar... Um, I looked at her and I already knew she was a Gemini. I have Lilith in Gemini, conjunct Mercury. So I already saw her game as soon as she did. I mean, I was already watching her. I was already very aware of what she was doing, what she, where she was coming from. And, um, long story short, I signaled to her to hand me my cigar. I took the cigar she told me to give to that other person. And then I signaled for her to give me mine back. And she looked at my hand like she didn't know what I was trying to say. So I grabbed the cigar. I pulled it from her hands and I pulled it out of her hands. And I looked at her with both cigars and I walked away. Man, these Geminis. <laughs> these Geminis really do try to try to play games. Um... And so, and, and honestly, I, I don't really, if people try to play games and they can get ready to embarrass themselves, if I end up looking like a jerk, so be it. At least she, at least the Gemini knows that I'm not playing and that I see them. Okay. And that's sometimes what you have to do with these Geminis. Okay. That's why, this is why people have so much negative stuff against Gemini because they're not as slick as they think. All the time okay or they are very slick but there's certain people who can see through the BS anyways um so that's my first story and you know and 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 there's so many other red flags like as a very perceptive individual I noticed that this person is really not in a good place mentally and um, she's also very um, the thing about Gemini is that, I'm not going to lie, I would never d date a Gemini, and I would never, I don't think I'd ever put myself in that situation. It's a risk, okay? I feel like you take a risk when you date a Gemini, because you never know if they really are going to burn you or not. Um, and so, um... But she was in a relationship with this guy, this Leo. He was a Leo. Or he is a Leo. I'm not sure if they're still together, but they might be. And she was flirting with every other dude on on the team that we were both on. And I knew that, I mean, if the Leo knew about it, I don't think he would be very happy. But of course, I really don't care. I'm not trying to get involved in their relationship or <laughs> be in any type of messy situation. And I didn't know her boyfriend very well anyway, so um 
So it kind of didn't really matter to me. He took his, he took a risk. Okay. He took a risk dating a Gemini. Like I feel like people should just know. Okay. Anyway, so another story I have with a Gemini is, um, <laughs> there was this woman that I've known for some years and, um, she, when I first met her, um, it was in a social situation and she was hanging out with a lot of people I was hanging out with. Um, we ended up hanging out with each other, not one-on-one, -on -one, but like always in a social situation. And and sometimes I want to say maybe we did hang out or we didn't hang out one-on-one, -on -one, but we've had one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, not super in-depth conversations, but anyways, um... And I remember that when we first met, we were we were at this music event. We were dancing. It was live music. And I love to dance, okay? I was having fun. And I remember um, she leaned into one of our friends and she was like whispering in their ear right in front of me. And she wasn't talking to me, right? She didn't whisper in my ear. And I think there was another female as well that she was like whispering in her ear. And they were like looking at me, right? Now, did she need to do that? What what was she doing? What was she saying? Um, in my mind, I'm like, okay, this is either her testing me or she really is talking smack or both, which is probably both, to be honest. But I was just like, um, she was probably just testing me and planting a negative seed in my mind. Now... Uh, I just kept dancing because I'm like, <laughs> play your games. I don't ever have to hang out with you ever again. So it's like, go ahead and be a beat. Like, go ahead. I don't care. I just met you. Like, you ain't really nobody to me. So, um, and, um, but we did hang out a couple of times after that. Anyways, um, long story short, I mean, she and I, we've crossed paths multiple times. Nothing negative really has happened. So every time I see her, I would say hello. But what ended up happening was one time, um, she was hanging out with a friend. I didn't notice her, um, her f long story short, I was introduced to her friend. Um, her friend was like, oh, how do you know that person? I was like, oh, we've just known each other for some time, you know, da, 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 da. not super close or whatever. We got connected on um, online. And then all of a sudden, this person disconnected from me, right? And mind you, I had already disconnected with the Gemini because from the very beginning, I didn't feel like I could really trust her anyways. And um, she did do some nice things things for me i'm not gonna say she never did any nice favors or anything but i just kind of felt like intuitively i should just stay away from her because the stuff she was getting involved in i was like you know what i just probably stay away um and then you know this person disconnected from me so i'm like hmm, i wonder if they were talking and i'm like you know it wouldn't surprise me um because i know this person and the gemini are much closer than i am to either one of them so I'm just like, okay, um, whatever. But, uh, I just kind of sense like this person really doesn't, she never really vibed with me to begin with this, this Gemini female. And, um, I just, I just kind of disconnected with her, but I think that, um, the, the most dangerous type of Gemini female is the Gemini female who has gotten into some sort of um, darker spiritual practices, okay? Because that's just like a very bad combination, okay? You already take somebody who's very duplicitous to begin with and then throw in some dark spiritual stuff like... <laughs> yeah, um... And then, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I've just never really had any positive in, uh, experiences with a Gemini female. Um, and, you know, it doesn't only come down to talking about people, okay? It goes down to, like, 
uh, home wrecking, okay? The Gemini female is not above wrecking a home, all right? She's not, she probably doesn't even care too much about another woman's feelings in relationships, okay? And I've seen it. I've seen it happen time and time again where a Gemini uh, female, and even the guys, okay? Now, when it comes to the Gemini men, I don't really have issues with them because I really don't get close to them. But I never had any negative experiences with them. In fact, some of them have been like some some of my some some friends kind of. I'm not going to lie, I make more friends with men than I do with any with any type of female. Like I have more male friends than anything, but um but yeah, the, yeah, so I mean Gemini guys, but the thing is about the Gemini man is that he is very very prone to being unfaithful. Very now you'd want to look at the full chart, right? Cuz if he has a lot of Taurus, a lot of Cancer, um mostly Taurus though, the grounding of Taurus will really more than likely prevent him from cheating on someone. But Otherwise, I wouldn't necessarily expect Gemini to be very faithful. Um, and, and I mean heavy Taurus energy. I don't mean just like one personal planet in Taurus. I mean like Mercury and Mars or Venus and Mars or Moon and Mars. Like definitely if you're dealing with a Gemini sun sign man, look at his Mars sign and pray that it's in a in Taurus, okay, or something like that, because otherwise he he might not be he might not put a a big a high value on being faithful. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so with all that being said, let me know what you think. Um, have you had any negative experiences with Gemini? I've never really been in too many situations where a gemini female could really burn me like that but and and the thing is once i saw that that gemini female joined the team i was already having some negative experiences with some of the leaders on that team so i was like you know what i'm just gonna bow out now before things get messy because i know things are about to get messy okay when you're dealing now I wouldn't say that every Gemini female is the same, okay? But this is the dark side, okay? Now, does everybody have a dark side? Yeah. And the Gemini does for sure, okay? I The way I always talk about Gemini is they're both yes and no at the same time, okay? They're both good and evil at the same time, okay? Now, whereas Libra is the partnership, the the relationship. This is how I symbolize Libra. It's the two heads, okay? It's the the union. But when it comes to Gemini, this is the two heads going in opposite directions, okay? So there is a real duplicitous nature here, especially when it comes to the sun sign. This is like the foundation of her personality. And um Women are already very, um, not unpredictable, but women are already complex and, um, unpredictable at times, if you're not paying attention. And so you've just got to be really careful with these women. <laughs> um, that's just my advice, all right? Please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.